right, it is Wednesday afternoon, evening. It's about 4.30. Vacation's over. Uh, been off for almost two weeks. We went and went, uh, got loaded this morning and we picked up little tar machines. I'll show you here in a second. Um, we're at the Loves here in Benson, Arizona. Um, I'm gonna go home, take a shower real quick, and then um, get some dinner. Uh, and I'm just gonna sleep in the truck tonight. That way I can wake up early in the morning and take off. We, just, we have a long way to go. We gotta go to Oklahoma City. We need to be there in the morning on Friday. Friday in the morning. But I uh, had a great weekend, uh, a great vacation, I should say. Uh, so got a lot done, got a lot done on the truck. Everything's looking good. So um, let's take a look at what we got. I've hauled these things before. It's been a while. Uh, they can be a little challenging chaining them down. And it's hot. I loaded these things up in Phoenix. It was like 110 out there. So the heat really uh, took a number on me today. But uh, let's take a look here. Hang on. All right, so I call these little tar machines, is uh, what I call them. Uh, they put the tar and they use them to, uh, to uh, like seal the cracks in the blacktop. Uh, I've never hauled one of those. That's like a little vacuum thing, I believe. That little thing right there. And not too sure what that thing is. But uh, these are the ones that we usually get. I've never hauled those black black ones right there but these ones are the ones they usually get and they got the uh, the tub and they put the tar in there melt it and then we'll go around on the other side and you'll see the one um, they're, they're fairly they're fairly easy to chain it's just it takes a little bit make sure your chains whenever you're doing a vehicle make sure your chains are pulling against each other so we got chain in the back pulling this way chain in the front pulling this way so and then on the back one here I did it the other way so the chain in the back is pulling that way chain it so they're pulling against each other and then you got to put a strap across the tongue there um, also make sure they nail these woods down uh, sometimes I've, I've hauled these things or vehicles and they'll put that tongue and they just set a piece of wood down uh, the vibration will knock that piece of wood out of there but here let me step back so you can see so you can see the wand right there that they use for uh, sealing the tar or sealing the cracks in the road. It's kind of hard, it shadows on this side over here. But, and then, like I said, this little thing here is a, I think it's supposed to be a vacuum or something. I'm not too sure what that little thing does. And then I think this is just another tar thingamajiggy. So, but uh, Teresa's on her way to pick me up and uh, we're gonna go get some dinner go get a shower and then she's gonna bring it back to the truck and then that way I can do my 10 hours here wake up in the morning to take off if I go home take a shower and then drive some more then I have to start my 10 hours later so this way we can start my 10 hours now get some sleep wake up early in the morning which I have been waking up early in the morning for the last week or so but uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow when we take off talk to you later all right good morning it's Thursday morning we're over here at the Love's Truck Stop in Benson, Arizona. That's where we spent the night. Sometimes I'll just stay up here at this truck stop, especially if I have to leave early in the morning instead of going home. I did go out and we had dinner last night. We had spaghetti for dinner last night with Teresa. Went home, got a nice hot shower. Came back over to the truck. Slept in the truck. Um. We got a long day today. We need to knock out about 650 miles today. So that's gonna put us up around uh, over there by uh, San, San John. You know, this guy's backing up. Hang on a second here. I'm not too sure what he's doing. I don't know if he's pulling forward or backing up. I don't know why he'd be backing up. Alright, let's get going here, man. Looks like he's just going forward. But it's a beautiful sunrise this morning. And 
and usually the first day back on the road we loaded yesterday but usually the first day of driving back on the road is kind of rough on me getting back into the groove but we don't have any options because we have to be in Oklahoma on Friday tomorrow Oklahoma City so we're gonna drop Oklahoma City in the morning and then we got to run up to Wichita Kansas so we need to be in Wichita Kansas by 3 o'clock so I think we're gonna be fine but it is a beautiful sunrise I'm trying to make my way over to the interstate so we can go east so you can see the sunrise because that's the sunrise I see every morning off my back porch at my house and it is beautiful this morning so I was trying to get over here so you can see it uh, we got to stop in Las Cruces which is about 250 miles get some fuel we're gonna go through backwards they got plenty of room and we're gonna fill up our def tank so we can start our trip off with a full def tank so all right look at that sunrise there we go now we're rock and roll oh new clutch is doing really good nice and quiet as you can tell beautiful sunrise all right we'll watch the sun come up and see when we get the last cruise Katie. Yeah, I've loaded over there. It's usually not a good time. Two o'clock. That's the late. That's the latest or is it a It's a long ways away up there too. Isn't it? Three and a half hours. I think we can make it. Oh, okay. What is it? Oh, okay.
Oh, no, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hang on, I was going through the border check. Yeah, put our name on it. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. All right, we made it over here to uh, Alamogordo, New Mexico. We stopped in uh, Las Cruces and got some fuel. And we're over here taking our 30 minute break real quick. Uh, everything's looking pretty good back here. Don't see any real problems. Just double checking everything. Change, everything looks good. Nothing moving around too much. Um getting the sun here the uh, trucks doing fine the clutch is nice and quiet no rattling or anything no squeaking uh, the only thing that's making noise now is the hood uh, when we were over in Las Cruces I went ahead and took the socks off the uh, hood mounts and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray some more stuff up there but I think what I'm gonna do try to do this without getting too dirty is I'm gonna take I think it's squeaking under there it's not squeaking here so I'm gonna take some uh, spray stuff and uh, spray in there and then put that back on there but uh, yeah that's the only thing that's kind of bugging me right now is that squeaking hood um, I did let's see Wednesday yesterday I did stop at um, Peterbilt in Tucson and bought new uh, fan belts so uh, we got uh i'll put those on sometime maybe this weekend uh we're not desperate for fan belts right now but just something i need to do before it gets too bad and my little fitting that i fixed is still leaking a little bit so i don't know what i did wrong but oh i did get the truck washed yesterday too as you can tell it's a little bit shiny so uh so anyway i'm gonna spray some stuff on there let me see i got this stuff i've used this stuff before I always say it wrong so let me get the can hang on let me see where it's at if it's in here hang on a second all my stuff is that it no oh is that it there it is white lithium grease so i think i'm going to spray that and then like i said i'm going to take that little hood mount slide it off spray some grease in there that's the only thing that's kind of bugging me alternators doing good new alternator belt everything looks good there so all right let me take care of this let's do our 30 minute break and then uh, we'll get going we're gonna try to make it to amarillo uh from right here it's like 330 miles so uh, if we can make it to amarillo uh tonight try to get to oklahoma nine ish tomorrow and then uh, we've already booked our reload out of Milwaukee on Monday. So we already got our work cut out for us. So, all right, talk to you later. All right, it's the end of the day. We made it over here to Amarillo. We did 670 miles in 10 hours and 35 minutes. And it is, what time is it? It's almost eight o'clock here. So tomorrow we're gonna be cutting it close because that means we can't leave till about six o'clock tomorrow morning. We got four, about four and a half hours to get over there. We only have one piece of machinery to unload. So uh, hopefully we can get it off. And then we got about two and a half hours up to Wichita. We need to be in Wichita by three. So uh, we're gonna be cutting it close. So today was a good day. First day back on the road sometimes can be a little rough, but uh, pretty good, did pretty good. So here, let me show you the TA here. Hang on a second. So this is the TA truck stop, sun's going down. Fuel aisle, let me see, there you go over there. Look over there. Fuel aisle is over that way. And then the interstate is straight ahead right there. But uh, give you a quick look. But anyway, all right, that's it. Uh, hang on a second. All right, that's it. We'll, uh, we'll call it quits for today. And um, we'll hit it tomorrow. Truck did good. No more squeaky hood. So uh, 
that little um, I, I, whatever that spray is I sprayed on I pulled the little uh, mounts off sprayed the underneath and the top so it's nice and quiet clutch doesn't rattle no squeak so uh, we're doing good all right that's it I will talk to you tomorrow we're going to bed and getting up in 10 hours talk to you in a bit